So some of you have been wondering, what's a day in Mr. Williams' life like? Well... It's gonna be over. All right, so for today's video, guys, I got a few things to bring to your attention. And I'm gonna be splitting up. This first part is for seventh graders, and afterward, I'll uh, address eighth graders. So, eighth graders, you can go do something and um, come back later in the video, and I'll uh, be talking to you guys. So, Wait for you guys to leave. Nope, no. Nope. I see you still hanging around. Nope. Get out of here. Eighth grade is gone. Cool. So, seventh graders. You know I like y'all going to eighth graders, right? So, what I did for y'all is I put the guides on Google Classroom. You should have already seen the uh, announcements about that. What I've also done is I've put a couple of assignments on there for those of you who are not passing. Excuse me, my cooking is so delicious. For those of you not passing uh, my class, there's a couple of assignments for you to do that will raise your grade up. And yes, you are still on the hook for grades before school closed. So you, I strongly suggest you get those done because you have until June 1st to do so. And you might be saying, uh, psh, June 1st, that's such a long time away, Mr. Williams. What you even tripping about? But I promise you, Boo Boo, you do not want to be May 25th, May 26th, like, oh my god, why did I win? Oh my god, I got so much to do. Make sure you try to get it taken care of now rather than it coming to haunt you later on. So, the two assignments are uh, the, they're things I've actually posted before. So, the Operation Green Thumb activity where you find some kitchen scraps, onion, celery, whatnot and you grow it and that is a review of what we went over with photosynthesis so you will uh if you have the scraps available um i'm at least asking for you to do about 15 days worth of observations and then answer the question excuse me answer the questions and get those to me um if uh the scraps really aren't available, you don't have a single onion in the house, then you can, by all means, get the questions done. Uh, they don't necessarily require you to be growing things, but doing those observations and growing is part of uh, getting, it'll, it'll make your grade better, let me say that. Um, the second assignment is the the questions that I put onto the daily guide, um, they're kind of to get you thinking about how these topics apply to Visalia, to Larry County, California, that kind of thing. And the week one daily guide, all that material is a review of stuff that we've already gone over, natural synthetic resources. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the readings that are in the district curriculum. It's on the website or your parents smack you with a really big fat packet. Um, you're going to do those readings that are uh, outlined um, in the packet. And then you're going to go through and answer those after reading questions. All right. There are a few dive deep questions. I'm not looking for you to tackle those unless you really want to know more about a subject and really want to dive in deep. But at the very least, what I'm looking for you to do is answer those um, 
those after reading questions. Both of those are on Google Classroom and I've created an assignment for you guys to be able to make, a, make your own copy, uh, submit them, and then email me so that I can go and check and give you feedback and if you need to make corrections, you can do that. Um, again, this is for those of you who are not passing um, and you will know if you're on the fence I don't remember what my grade is, I will be contacting you, all right? If you still want to do them to make your grade higher, go ahead, by all means, you can do so and I'll raise your grade. Um, and we will also be, next week will be the final week of this particular set of curriculum and then you'll get brand new stuff after next week. So you'll have new daily guides to look forward to. Um, I created the activities in the curriculum, so uh, those things will, would have been stuff that we'd have been doing in class, so make sure you get those done as well. Um, as always, if you have any questions, if you're confused about something, maybe it's even as simple as you are having trouble understanding one of the readings or anything, email me, um, send me a message, and I will get back to you as soon as I see it. All right. So I think that about does it for you guys. So stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face too much. Uh, don't get on your parents' nerves. Eat your vegetables. Get some exercise. All that good stuff. And y'all are still the best. All right. Peace. Eighth graders, <clears throat> now that the seventh graders are gone, you guys are the best. You guys are way much more likable than the seventh graders. So, for you guys, um, I put the daily guide for week two up on Google Classroom to help you get through the readings. Um, and there's some questions if you uh, care to know more about how it connects to Tulare County, Visalia, California, those things help you to really connect it and make, make you see the bigger picture. So I suggest you um, go through, answer those questions. It'll give you a much better takeaway from the curriculum than just reading and answering some simple questions. These really make you think. So there are some of you who are not passing or were not passing when we left and you are still on the hook for those grades before we left, all right? And you will have until June 1st to get your grades up. How can you do so? Well, I've put three assignments onto Google Classroom where they cover material that we've already done before and you will be able to raise those grades up that you're lacking in when you get those assignments done. So two of them are claim evidence reasoning uh, assignments. We haven't, we haven't really done much of any of them this year. However, I expect that you have done similar style assignments in ELA and history, so it shouldn't be completely um, unknown to you, all right? You'll be given some reading to do, a prompt, like a question, and then you're going to have to make a claim, provide evidence for your claim, and then back it up with some reasoning, all right? So to give you an example, we would say something along the lines of, oh, psh, claim, Mr. Williams is the best science teacher on the face of the planet. I know you're... You, you want to accept it already, but I'll give you some evidence, okay? So, evidence. Mr. Williams references Tyler, the Creator, and Kanye West in class. And I know some of you might say, yeah, 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 we're sold. But I know a couple of you are really like, I don't see it. I don't really get it. So, drive the nail into the coffin. 
This proves that Mr. Williams is cool because not too many teachers keep a pulse on, you know, current events and current online culture to make things relevant for people like you. Claim evidence reasoning. All right. So you're going to do the same for the assignments that I've put up there, except they're on something even more cool than me. They're on the fossil record. Yeah, I know. So, um, get those done. The third assignment is um, uh, ordering layers from oldest to youngest, rock layers, law supervision, that kind of stuff. Um, and there's some questions attached with that. So, doing those three assignments will increase your grade to above passing if you are failing. Um, those of you who are not failing, if you still want to do them to raise your grade even higher, go ahead. I'll still grade it and give you feedback. So um, when you submit any of those assignments, make sure you email me so that I uh, instantly know and I can go and grade it, give you feedback. Um, if you have any questions about anything, maybe it's you don't understand the reading or you don't quite get what a question is asking you or you don't quite know what it is you need to do, then by all means, message me, email me. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that about wraps it up. So again, you guys are way better than seventh graders and I hope that you all stay safe, eat your vegetables, wash your face. Well, I mean, wash your hands, don't touch your face too often. Um, don't be mean and annoying to your parents. Uh, do all your chores. Um, yeah, all the normal stuff, all right? So I'll be back with you guys again next week uh, with a new video and some new stuff on classroom but until then uh take care and see you later